let's do a vlog so Songkos world is here patrick part of sonic Songkos, two voices of the heart so what is happening at this time of chaos and turbulence but also of course huge shift the end of so many old paradigms and truly us being in a metamorphosis that truly takes us out of old old paradigms old mindsets old pain and and also old perceptions and so what we have been maybe learning for many years on a spiritual journey in Advaita or in even mindfulness and religious practices to detach from that ego from that from that physical experience from that human experience that homo sapiens have in drama and trauma in separation which is possibly the biggest one and related to everything else scarcity fear and so this year was a very very strong year a very strong year that took us out of all the comfort and it is not always easy and we don't always want to listen and resistance sometimes bigger than the the knowing that it needs to go so in any case what did it mean it brought me back in alignment as a cosmic guide now the cosmos was always with me i was always connected to the stars and more than 20 years ago i was guided to start downloading light temples that wanted to be anchored in earth i don't claim i understand too much but I got some friends together and we would go to places and we would do the work. And so I, I have been guided many times by the cosmos. And it was very clear to me for a long time that we are part of the cosmos. And it's not like we are seekers. We are already here. It's like when you do self-inquiry or self-discovery, the most difficult thing is actually to truly observe and to understand we are already here. We are already in a 5D world, in a new world, in a new earth. We are. We are already source. We are already light. But to bring it together and leave behind the old paradigms, the old pain, the karma, the Akashic records, to name just a few limitations, that is not so easy. And so it's not just ego. It's more than that. It's, it's literally a metamorphosis. Um, my favorite metamorphosis was always the dragonfly. When the nymph climbs up on the tree, waiting not seeking, knowing there is something else, dreaming how to see, dreaming how to fly, and coming out of that old shell. So it is very exciting. Being a cosmic guide again this time around is also not, not just the, the representative or the advocate or the council member of the cosmic Council of Heartlights. This time it is really translating and transposing those cosmic vibes. So we have all kind of, I would say we are bombarded with all kind of frequencies, energy, um, light, and it is very hard for us to, to receive it. So this time I've been asked to translate and transpose. So we can shift into homo luminous, 
So it's not only our consciousness that's shifting into a higher frequency, higher dimension, higher consciousness, and not even higher consciousness. It's, it's the access of the consciousness that we actually have. So it's all very convoluted. I would, I would imagine Dolores Cannon would call that, who of course did amazing work. And, her work is also more relevant than ever before because she was before her time. So now we start making a little bit more sense. So in that convoluted universe, it is now important that we truly integrate, sync, assimilate to create that spark and synergy that allows us to fully live in these harmonic states of being. Our biggest challenge at the moment is actually to become harmonic. When we were separated, and we still are in many ways, so if you're being tested, it's possibly to, to take it the next step, to continue on your journey, living your dream, daring to manifest in harmony. What is hurting you now and what you're tested in is actually the lack of trust that you have in yourself to live in complete harmony. And so the cosmic guide that is coming your way now is really about that. The other part, of course, it translates and it, it, it flows into our work and in Songkos Worlds and as Sonic Songkos. And so the specials have been really amazing for us. It's not like we had millions of people wanting to do it. It was like the experiences that we had and the magic that occurred in these sacred immersions took us to the next level. And it allowed us to, to make it what it really needs to be. So, of course, it continues until the 18th of December. And if you have the time and space, I highly recommend to you to do one of those four. The OS Heart and Heart Codes and Keys. It's the first thing ever from consciousness architecture. And it's extraordinary, exponential. It's not me, it's not Ceci, it is just what is happening when we start doing that kind of work. And what seeds are being planted or what seeds have been given permission to grow, it's really unbelievable what is happening here. So we're very happy to make a little bit more space until the 18th of December. The medicine wheel has taken also its own way, starting off with deep mirroring, which again takes us into spaces of the unknown, of the unexpected, but of that version within ourselves that has been hidden, covered, limited, oppressed, enslaved, and trapped, entangled. And so very, very interesting what comes up. And then, of course, going on that medicine wheel is just another thing. And then understanding, of course, what comes through, reading those signs. And all these specials come out of the school. I'll talk about that in a second. And it's about you are learning. It's not you come for a session. It's not a session. It is a learning process for you that that has something to learn the medicine wheel stepping into that magic and taking you into that sacred immersion our power animals or spirit animals were always close to our heart so close that we even have light spirit quests in our shop where you can get the stories and the sound and also classes uh, there's also a new one coming I come back to that in a moment. And so it is really, really fascinating what is happening with these spirit animals. They have gone into a new dimension 
as well, as they become our allies in a very different way. So, and of course, we are teaching you here how to choose your ally and how you align. And so, yeah, it's been spectacular. The Beyond Monarchy has been with us, obviously, for quite a long time and is one of our signatures. And to give for us the rights and people receiving it is just absolutely glorious. And as people are getting more into it and deepening the praxis, we have more people who come and do actually practitioner course, learn how to give, but also in the process creating their own course. For us, it's not about everybody does the same. For us, it's about a tune to what you have to give, a tune to whatever else you are doing. So you have your unique signature in everything you share as a practitioner, as a new earth leading light. So this is about the specials. And the next big thing is the school. The school was always a dream that has been kept very low and dim. It was always there, but never really. It was what we could imagine it to be and what the dream was and what the guidance was. So now we dare. So the school has four faculties. The shamanic link and cosmic sync is is almost there there will be a few more courses that are already in existence beyond monarchy is one on its own and now we really start teaching the consciousness architecture as well as the school of the heart so on the portal day 12 12 2023 so next month we will open the first summer school Yes, we live in the Southern Hemisphere, in case you don't know, in Peru. So yes, for us, it is summer. And it's very exciting what's coming through, going through the heart with the mind, because the mind also has a purpose, right? But it is really a matter of the heart, allowing the heart to show us what goes into the summer school. So be excited with us and see what is coming through. The next thing that is very exciting, we are part of a conference that is actually in German. Surprise, surprise. Yes, um, we've been invited and it's about whales and dolphins and the communication of the heart. So I don't need to say anything more because we are in that space. Most of you may not know our experience or my experience with, uh, with the whales, but in any case, you will maybe hear more about it. So that's very exciting. And that is going live and comes up in February, 2024. In May, we will be in Jamaica. And there's also a very exciting project coming our way and your way. So we are part of the creators of a conference retreat in the Blue Mountains. Funny enough, in the place where I did my first own little retreat before I left for Peru for the first time in 2013. So it is amazing what happens when the signs are just getting really clear. So stay tuned, there's a lot more coming up. We also will be in Europe. So who knows, we have an opportunity to see you there as well. So this is what's happening in Sonko's world. It's maybe a little bit long, but I'm sure if you are interested, you are still here. And so we're very excited that you are here and we're very excited to dream this dream into being together with you. We are in this together. And while it's not easy, we can ride this wave together. And it is just exciting. And coming now, the riding the wave, riding the wave, into the Heart is also a book that is still being edited, but almost finished. So yes, there is three books that are in the process either of editing or formatting or whatever. And yes, they will be published. And yes, you will be able to buy them online, hard cover, soft cover or 
also of course as an ebook so there's a lot on and the magic is happening while it is a bit of work it is more joy and there's two more series to be written on one of the books access point heart that also goes into consciousness architecture so that was a lot from for today thank you so much for being here we are very open to hear from you as we are preparing the summer school so please share with us what you are interested in in the school of the heart and in consciousness architecture recently i had a request also because it's sound and consciousness architecture to maybe do something on sound so please let us know and we will see what comes through and how it can all happen for today thank you very much to be here from my heart to yours